All right, guys, welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. I'm hoping this will be the final part of episode one. And if you're enjoying this series, please do leave a like down below. Leave a comment. Let me know what you're thinking of this game. Do anything stupid and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. Yeah, as you saw in the last episode, we managed to arrest Dumb, or Dumber, whatever his name is, Tweedledum. Ah, uh, is that Beast? God. Okay, something bad has happened here. Ah. Okay. I think they've found something that we already know about. <gasps> no way. Snow. Oh my god, the next time we on The Wolf Among Us. Very special. What the hell? Someone's killed Snow White. Oh Where's my your god, brother? I don't know what to think. Fuck you! Give me one good reason I should tell you anything. <sighs> Where's the rest of her? Serial killer. Oh, oh my. A serial killer? Oh god, it's one of us. Wait, the woodsman's still walking the streets. We've got to put a lid on this. If you can't manage it, I'll find someone who can. I found out where she's been staying. I know she's here. You must have seen her. What are the two of you hiding? Thanks for not saying anything. Doesn't matter. Maybe you just want to punish someone. We can arrange that. Uh, what did you do? Uh, friend on friend. At the end of the end. Jesus Christ, baby. Is that you? So did I give Faith my money? Yes, me and 84%. Most of us are very kind, generous people. Did we tell Beast the truth about beauty? Me and 59% of players lied and said you hadn't seen beauty. Okay. Uh, where did you first decide to go? Only 30% of players went to see Prince Lawrence before helping Toad. And uh, I do believe I got a I got a bit of a thumbs up from somebody on that. I, I was It was pretty rare, apparently, so thank you very much. Um, you prevented Prince Lawrence's death, which, okay, I didn't realise that that was even a thing. Uh, what is this? Who is your prime suspect? Me and 22% of players uh, pointed their fingers at the pimp. So most of us are actually thinking that the pimp done it. There wasn't the option of a butler, otherwise I'd have picked that. Uh, when it came down to the wire, you and a 68.7% of players, sorry, percent of players uh, made sure Tweedle D, oh it was him, it was D, didn't get away. Yeah, okay, good, I'm, I'm glad I'm in the majority there. Well, as I kind of messed up and I didn't know how close I actually was to the end of episode one before I released that last part, we'll carry on and start episode two. Yes, it was. I thought then for a minute it was all a dream, but it is true. You're making this more difficult as well. than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. 
You look like you could use some rest. Ooh, well, yes, I need to find the killer, that's I'll be true. I'll better when I find who did this, which I can't do while sitting in here. We all want the same thing here, Bigby. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You don't know anything. If you did, you wouldn't be sitting here talking to me. You'd be talking to the piece of shit that did this. Well, you stonewalling me like this isn't helping either of us, so why don't you cut the shit and... I'm trying to help you, Bigby. Hmm, why did she stop talking? Like she doesn't want them to hear. What is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? No. Didn't think so. Well, technically it's happened twice to him. Your nose is bleeding. What is going on? Uh, you missed a spot, yeah. You missed a spot. Yeah, you just smeared it across your face. You got a tissue or something? Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah, I know. I, I just said that. Is there something... Is happening. Please. Please. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just make it stop. Please. Go, now. It's him. What did you do to her? What did you do to her? She'll be fine. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive. But it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours. And everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. I feel like she, she when she wrote something down on the, on the notepad, I felt like that was written for me. But if he's wiped their memory, she's going to be able to read her own notes, though, isn't she? So she's not going to completely forget everything. She'll be able to work something out. But why on earth does he come to bail us out and he wants them to forget? Why does he want them to forget? this uh, clearing the throat competition thanks for the ride thanks for the bailout this doesn't change anything this doesn't change anything fine we um we found Tweedledee chained up to a post that was your doing correct yeah well I don't know why you detained him D was at the trip trap when snow was left at the woodlands so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem Okay, look now, Crane, he's working for somebody, he has a brother. And he hasn't said anything useful. There's two of them, D and Dunn, and they've been snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't mean they're necessarily involved in the murders. I didn't say they were, did I? I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. Can't believe they killed off Snow White. You know, I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. And now, for it to be Snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. 
I just can't believe this is really happening. Yeah. It's hard. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Did she, um, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She just told me to be careful. She was always fond of you, Bigby. Yeah. I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to... have to put an end to this. There have been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby. For Miss White. I got it. <laughs> well, nobody's gonna feel the pain of her death more than Bigby. I've got an achievement there called Right to an Attorney. So I suppose That's they were very thinking answer, I had something to do with it. Come on. Just tell me what I want to know. Big I mean, things not a lot me. less painful for you. In I didn't theory. do it. Oh, were you planning on using that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. Oh. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whatever you say, Ichabod. Bluebeard the pirate. Hello, Big B. I want answers, D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Big B? Shh. Do you think this is a joke? Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Who's your boss? Yes, Let him this work. is true. He's got more experience with Why these were you at kind Faith's? Things. You know I saw you at Faith's apartment. What were you doing there? Girl's got air conditioning. You can't imagine what it's like living in a little shithole with no air, especially with this heat wave no, going on. <laughs> All right, D. Let's get to know each other. Ah, look at this. So I've got a few options here. Are There's you a, done yet? A of I'm her? getting off. Ah, that's my picture of. Oh, bless her. Show it to D. Mm-hmm. Fuck, Big B. Don't make me look at that. Just put that away. Please. This could be you. Hmm, why would I, I want to say that. that to him? Snow was murdered. I think that's obvious. Um... If you don't tell me who did this, I'll make sure you end up the same way. Dead on your doorstep. Got it? I told you, I didn't kill her, and I don't know who did. Just tell me what you were doing at Faith's apartment. Look, Bigby, we're not on opposite sides here. My brother and I are trying to get to the bottom of things. Same as you. I kind of believe him. Your brother? <clears throat> Where was he last night? I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Take your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. That's a lot of cash. Uh, why would I, I should be leading the interrogation. Oh, we can't do right. that. <clears throat> Let's have why? a look. You always carry this much cash. I've got a lot of laundry to do this week. What's it to you? 
Use coins for laundry, not paper, you fool. Pocket the money or put it down. Well, I'm not a thief. Back. So where's your brother? Look, mate, I'd like to help. I would, but I can't tell you where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up and I went to find Faith. I don't know where he is now. What was but that he about didn't Faith? Kill yes. anybody. Just leave him out of this. You mentioned Faith? Look, I went to her apartment. That's no secret. You saw me. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. All right, D, since you never answered my first question, what did you want from Faith? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not saying any more about it. Hmm, okay, well, there's this cigar. I know I you really enjoy know my company, <laughs> but I'd like whiskey. to be off. What about his hand? What is it about his hand? The blood, that's true. We could hit him again. <laughs> I'm as tempted as I Can am. Can we move this along? If you need some assistance, you mind loosening those? I can barely feel my fingers. Hmm. Questions. Questions. Should I tighten them or loosen them? <laughs> Real cute. You prick. What are you doing? Getting answers. I told you to keep yourself under control. Uh, let me handle this. What did you want from Faith? I didn't want shit from that little thief. More thief. trouble than she's worth. I could say the same about you. Oh yeah? Untie me and see how much trouble I am. What did she steal? Must have been valuable. I don't know. It was just some dumb thing my boss was after. What Your you boss. Your boss. Mm hmm. <laughs> so let's talk about your boss then. Come on, D. It's clear you're just following orders. So who's calling the shots? No, I'm fucking done. Okay, we will beat this out of him if we have to. This is bullshit! Let me go! What about this? All right, let's see if we can do something about this cigar. What is, what is it? Is it the label on it? Will that give us any information? Ah, uh, maybe not. I'm saving that. Ooh, torture by cigar smoke. It's the always works. This is really... What's the point of this? Burn him or offer the cigar to him. Ooh, burn it. I burn him to tempt him, but no, no, yeah. I'm not... I'm not that evil. No fucking way! You're out of your mind! Just cooperate. It's necessary. It won't happen as again. As long as you cooperate, I'll be nice. This is all up to you. Unbelievable. Yeah, all right. Want to see a trick? <clears throat> Are you trying to make me disappear? Not gonna happen. Why don't you just tell me who you're working for? Look, you're not a bad guy. I believe beauty on that one. But I can't give you that information. That's where I gotta draw the line. There's no way beauty would associate with a scumbag like you. What's wrong with me? You're telling me I ain't pretty enough? Yeah, we're real close. I you and Beauty. This is supposed to be a murder investigation, mm -hmm. but you're treating this guy like a fucking house guest, Bluebeard. You were making progress before. What is this patty cake shit? Snow White is dead. One of us. And you're going to let this ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> oh, no. What the fuck? What well, do you I think you're works. doing? Teaching him a lesson. Pay attention. Stop this right now! You enjoying yourself? Immensely. Back off, uh. Bluebeard! Okay, this is how it's gonna go, is it? Okay, I think I missed. I hit one of the wrong buttons there, but it still worked. this no. what what's going on down here oh she's not dead who the hell was that then whose head is on the steps Snow. what is happening
Well, there we go. This is the, the beginnings of episode two, so I'm so confused. Nice intro, though. Love the art style. Well, I, I kind of hoped she wasn't actually dead, but I didn't think it would be revealed so quickly. Got some explaining to do in episode two. See that rhyme? Smoke and mirrors. Ah, is this all a ruse? What the hell was going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. We thought you were dead. This is true. I thought you could control yourself. I. Thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? I only hit him once. I hope it was worth your time. Okay, how are you not dead? Well, she's, that's a bit obvious. Where the hell have you been? Were you really scared us? Yeah. You really scared us. If we'd just known you weren't actually dead... I was working on this case. After a conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. But hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. Or at least to figure out who she is. I'm glad you took care of things. Thanks. So did somebody, like, make the head look like her? I just don't understand. Snow? What is it? I'm glad you're alive. This is true. I'm glad you're... not dead. Me too. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. Ooh, good point. You need to be very, very careful, Snow. If someone wants you, you dead, at some point they'll realize they missed their target. And they'll come looking for me. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, oh, magic. what's our next move? Ah, that would explain things. Oh, I meant to hit if some conversation option. If we're going to work together on this, you need to actually talk to me. Ooh, I mean, now. Just what do you quick expect enough. me to do? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs, waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? Snow. I told you, I'm tired of sitting around. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm and... not yours to lose. Nope, that one hurt. I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too... You know. What, wolf-like? Myself. Right. So, glamour was used to make that head look like snow. Breaking point. Achievement unlocked as well. Or she was killed because she did look like snow. I'm a little confused there. Oh, TJ's we are over back there. here. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I... I want to be there. Ah, uh, him again. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. Right, so we got the mirror on the wall, and I want to see the body, but what is this? Tarot cards. Well, that's appropriate. <laughs> Knife through my heart. 
thinking that Snow was dead. And acids. Maybe this has been harder on him than I thought. What Crane was having stomach problems. Snow's perfume. Right. Why would that be an item of interest? Hmm. Now I do want to see the body, so should I speak to Snow first? Let's do that. Show me the body. Show me your body, Snow. So, <laughs> check out anyone who fits that profile. You might start with Bluebeard. Right away, Miss Snow. Are you ready to examine the body now? Oh, well, I didn't think you, uh, I didn't think you'd ask me so directly, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I almost forgot. Come on. Witching Well Chamber. Amazing place. Oh god, there it is. So, is this the body of Faith? Um, she said she thought it was at first. <gasps> Ooh. Oh god. This is really weird. It's dressed up like snow as well. Oh, that's horrible. Wow. I didn't realize... This is weird. Yeah. The glamour is so effective, it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. Okay. Um, right. How do we... St where do we start? The head. Check her mouth. There might be a ribbon in there, like before. Well, this is true. There was a ribbon on face. Oh, oh, Anything? don't be so rough with it. Nothing. Can you close her mouth? Thanks. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so weird. Um, let's check this. What is this pin? Is this significant in any way? That's like an weird. Omega sign. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. I mean, of course, there is the possibility that this is actually snow. And the snow I'm with is the one who's magically glamoured to look like snow, if you know what I mean. Looks just like Faith's did. But there was nothing in her mouth this time. Do you think it was done by the same person? Hard to tell. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. Well, I don't think there's anything else to look at. Um... What have I... I've, I've already looked at this. She got your perfume right. Oh. How would she know? How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this nose. <laughs> also, I saw the bottle on your desk. What, and you just know what it smells like from looking at the bottle? Well, uh, oh, there's other parts to look at. What is this? Oh, these puncture wounds on the inside of her legs. Scratch marks on her ankles. Something, oh, I bet she's got something in her hand. Her fist is clenched. So she fought back? No marks on the knuckles. Oh. Maybe she was grabbing something? Maybe. Oh god, the rigor mortis is set in. Oh, this is gonna be horrible. We've gotta pry open doing? the fist. The only way to find out. Okay, we're gonna have to snap some fingers here. Jesus, Bigby. Oh. What is it? Flowers. Yeah. Right. Is that going to be useful? And what are these? They look like puncture marks. marks. She used Monday drugs? It looks that way. Oh. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms. Or if they're trying to hide the marks. Anyway, it 
means it's not a perfect match to your leg. Unless... <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Maybe she was trying to compensate with that perfume. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one. Might be spot. cheap, yeah. It's might be possible it's designed not to. Designed not to hide track marks? Good point. The witches upstairs know what they're doing. That's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's Ooh, not badly. technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. Interesting. So it's it's a good enough copy that fooled somebody, but the details reveal the truth. Rope marks. She was tied up? There were cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Cinder blocks? So she would sink. Uh, oh. So they were going to dump her in the, right. in the river. So the they... buttons are wrong. I wonder... What? I need to open her coat. Ooh, yes. Snow, I need to open her coat. Bigby, just let me. Oh, look, there's another ribbon. It's not you. Let's keep going. You're still okay. You're still okay. I... Sorry, that uh, took longer than expected. What have you found out? Her glamour isn't perfect. She was a drug user. Um, her glamour is defective. Oh, defective? We are thinking it's black market. We should really be regulating this kind of thing. Yes. We should keep going. All right, so we've got two inside pockets here and this purple ribbon, oh, lingerie. This lingerie is the same color as the ribbon that we found in Faith's mouth with a ring attached to it, if you remember. Are you wearing silk lingerie, Snow? Why do you want to know? <laughs> Just trying to see if the clothes are exact. They're not. They're not, so what's she wearing? Spanx, probably. Okay. Oh, there's the perfume. Use this. What is that? She had the perfume with her. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions. Is it somebody who's obsessed with Snow and uh, hired her for his Lady of the Night and wanted her to be as convincing as possible? Perhaps. I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Don't you think? I, I do actually okay. agree with right. him. One way to find out. Huh. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? Uh, you might want to stand back. This is true. You might want to stand back if you're worried, Crane. I'm gonna try to open it. Something to do with these rings here. Oh, it's a little puzzle. Oh well, I think this should be fairly straightforward. He says. Uh, that looks right. Yeah, that does look right. Have I got to... That looks like it matches. Have I just got to get the, all of the pieces... All the pieces are in line, right? There's a bird that's in line, and the trees, maybe, no, maybe not this last one. All right, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to use the deer instead of the bird. Let's try this. 
Okay, two more. Something clicked. What does that mean? Oh. That's a piece of her hair. Is that Snow's hair? And a picture of her. This must be what they needed to uh, create this glamour. It's your hair. Who? Hmm. And how? Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think. This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Oh no. Who did this, Bigby? She's a troll? You mm. gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. Can you imagine if that... Yep, she's a troll. Calm down, All everybody. Right, can calm down. <laughs> it's not like you haven't seen a troll before. Who is she? That wasn't there before. Who no, do you think remember, she is? it was Glamour. I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Oh, is it Holly the bartender? Oh, all yes. Back in the homelands. Or maybe Holly knows. You don't knows. mean that, do you? Maybe Holly knows. The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little... Oh, no. What is it? It's not Holly, it's her sister Lily. She was reported missing, but I, I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows, she might know something about this, who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. Do you want to talk to TJ first? Mm, I think we should go and tell Holly. What's going on first? No, I don't want to wait on this. It wouldn't be fair to Holly. You're right. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. You'd be putting her life at risk. Bigby is not in charge of me. If Snow wants to come with me, I'm not going to stop her. But we should leave now. You ready? Yeah. Oh, I hope that wasn't a bad decision. So TJ found the body, and he's probably traumatized. He may have some information, but I do feel like, given the choice, it was better to go and speak to Holly at the Trip Trap Bar and tell her exactly what happened This whole happened thing first. is complete bullshit, and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. Oh, You're a God, bar. Yes. You're supposed to have darts Honest. around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... Hey guys, remember me? <laughs> Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll do. Yeah, he looks nervous, as he should. <laughs> okay, uh, you can relax. Okay. okay, I know, just relax. I'm not here to start anything. Okay. Miss White. I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing, it really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Jack who? Because you know, we were just talking about you. All of us, at the bar, here. I just need to talk to Holly, privately. All right, just give us a second first. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. Tweedledee was just here. Hmm. He said it looked like Snow White. What the hell, Crane? Sorry. Tweedledee said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. He said you tortured him. Which, I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. Bigby, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... find the off button, now! What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around. 
but as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. He fucking maimed you. Aren't you pissed? Cat got your nerve. What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Holly. What? Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister... Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Hey, easy! Ah, fuck! <laughs> What'd I do? Just get it's out of here, It's an honest question. Ah! Go fuck on up a beanstalk, Jackie boy. Gren, you gotta learn some new lines. Let me tell you. Oh, is that Jack from Jack and the Beanstalk? <laughs> All right, then. Actually... Oh, God. Okay, um, avoid telling her. Be gentle with her. Be gentle. Let's be gentle. I be kind. I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. God fucking damn it! Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Oh, you'd Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been safe. She might have been cared for. She might have been... <laughs> I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry we found your sister this way, and I... I wish this had ended up better. Holly, get the fuck out of my bar. I just want It should have been you. It should have been you, and it wasn't. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. Oh, the copper was from a dwarf mine. That was decent of you. Gren. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? He had a point, though, about that brooch. Could have been evidence. But it was the decent thing to do. At least it's going to get her talking and not I don't know that much about her, her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> Why was Lily was glad? Okay, well, I'm not sure city. she would know the answer to that. She just got swept Who might know by. more about this? Did she have any friends? Anyone who could tell us what she might have been doing? Why she'd be a target? I don't know about her friends. She hung around where she worked, mostly. She was hooking to pay down debt. It ain't me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees, it's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it, it's pie. okay. Um, if it's too much, we don't have to what do is, this. What is Putting that? Putting in pie, huh? What do you know about the place? It's a real garbage dump. We can just go check it out. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here. <laughs> well, anything else you can tell us? Yes, we... Anything else Press you can tell us? Pressing. I don't think so. Like Press. I said, we didn't talk much. That's all right. You've been more than helpful. Is she... Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's it's a kind of... It's a formality with trolls. 
we burn our dead by sunrise, or I don't know. Some oh, old wow. world shit will fuck your soul up. Of course. Okay. Good. Let's go down to the business office. Oh, and maybe that was the wrong call. I promised Holly the body. If we burn the body, right. do we burn evidence with it? That club? I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Really, thanks. It just made everything easier. Well, I'm trying. Wow, so... Oh, that was the scene of the bar fight before. <laughs> yeah, who can forget that one? Guys, I'm gonna pause it here and pick up this tale in the next part. Thank you so much for watching, um, and that's a good chunk of the second episode already done, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like if you did, and let me know what you're thinking. I'll see you soon in the next part. Take care, guys, and good night.